Grabbing a quick meal on the go is pretty common these days. Many busy Americans make a regular diet out of chips, sugary drinks, and candy. This unhealthy lifestyle is catching up with people, though. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate by 2050, one in three Americans will have diabetes. Currently, one in ten people have the disease. Registered nurse Joanne McGee says these numbers tell us a lot about our society. Obesity seems to be the number one reason why we're going to be seeing the increase. McGee says many children and young adults are at risk, meaning higher medical expenses in the future and more tax dollars needed. Diabetics living longer, there will be issues for us as a society taking care of them. UNR assistant professor Glenn Hagerstrom says there is a genetic component involved in acquiring diabetes as well, but people's busy schedules are also to blame. People are, you know, have fast-paced lives and so they grab something frozen, something quick. Um, it it's, didn't happen overnight, it's happened over time. Hagerstrom and McGee both say eating right and exercising are keys to a healthy lifestyle, but that's not so easy for everybody here on campus. Nearly every food vendor offers some sort of fruit or vegetable, but the selection is limited. UNR student Kimberly Baktich says she eats on campus for convenience and to save time, but wishes there were more options. There's really no healthy food here. If there is, well, there is. It's just very minimal. UNR student Larissa Edis says with the way students and most people eat these days, she's not surprised the diabetes rate is rising so quickly. It's definitely scary, but it's definitely believable, too. Reporting for Wolfpack Week, I'm Adam Rasmussen.